What is going on guys, Joe here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.3. Now, not only are you going to be able to jailbreak the latest version of iOS, as you probably know, for those of you who jailbreak, there hasn't been a jailbreak available for several months up until today, and this method here is actually a way to do it without a computer. Now, there actually was a new jailbreak available within 24 hours of when I shot this video here. And that was thanks to the Pengu team. So the Pengu website, this is only available on Windows. So if you have a Windows computer, you will be able to jailbreak, but it's currently in Chinese only. There's an English version coming out, but it's still not out as of shooting this video. But for some reason, I've actually been having issues with that. So that is why there was never a video covering this first jailbreak for iOS 9.3.3. Now you can jailbreak if you're 9.2 all the way up to 9.3.3. So if you're not updated to the latest version of iOS, which is currently 9.3.3, go ahead and do so. Also, this is going to be available on just 64-bit devices, meaning if you have an iPhone 5S through the iPhone 6S Plus, including the iPhone SE, which is the device that I'm actually gonna be jailbreaking today, you will be able to jailbreak alongside the iPod Touch 6th generation and the iPad mini 2, 3, 4, and also the iPad Airs alongside the iPad Pro. But as I mentioned, I was having issues with the Pengu jailbreak. Thankfully, there is a new way to jailbreak just through your device, so you don't even need a computer. But before we do get started with any type of jailbreak, I would recommend to definitely back up your device in iTunes. So go ahead and back it up. Once it's backed up, you'll be ready to go. Now the next step is very easy. This is probably the easiest way. If you remember back in the day, there's a jailbreak me website that you can simply go to and jailbreak your device. And that's gonna be the same method we use for this jailbreak. So if you go down to the link in the description, um, there's actually this current one that works. So go ahead and click on that in the description box. You'll then go to the install app right here and then we'll tap on install. Once you do that, you can go to your home screen and you will notice that it's currently installing. So this will take like about a minute or so. So just sit back patiently and wait till it's installed on your device. All right, once it's completed, you're gonna see this icon here. Now all we gotta do is tap on that. And here it's gonna say untrusted enterprise developer. So this means we will have to go into the settings and trust the developer. So go into settings, general, scroll all the way down to where it says device management and this is going to be the one that you will need to click on we'll tap on that and then we'll tap on trust this developer so once you do that hit on trust and then you'll be trusting that certain application so now we just go back go ahead and press on the icon again and then you'll get this here so be sure to click on send notifications so click on ok and then once you do that uncheck this little box down here because we don't care to install other things here after you tap on that we'll simply tap on this circle here and once you do that go ahead and lock your device and once it's locked you will notice that little notification there and just let it sit there do its thing because once it's completed you will see that it respring's and then we'll be good to go so it has resprung just now and we'll slide to unlock and then now when we scroll over to the right you will see Cydia now that's a good sign tap on that and it's as easy as that to jailbreak iOS 9.3.3 now just to show you um, down here it does say 9.3.3 so I am jailbroken on the latest firmware. Now there's gonna be another additional step that we need to take and that is to install a new little uh, file here. So in the search tab in Cydia, go ahead and type in Apple file and it's gonna be this here. So Apple file can do two and then we'll install that on our device. So go ahead and confirm that, install that. It's gonna be very important to have. So just be aware to install this on your device. And then we'll go ahead and respring our springboard once it resprings, we can go ahead and unlock our device, and that is pretty much it. Now, this is going to be a semi-untethered jailbreak, meaning if you ever do turn off your device, you will need to go ahead and re-jailbreak your device. Now, I just want to show you guys how that works. So, if we tap on Cydia right now, 
city is working fine everything if you download any tweaks those will be working fine but if we ever turn off our device or if our phone dies runs out of battery you will need to re jailbreak your device so i went ahead and restarted my phone here and once it boots back up we'll slide to unlock and you will notice that when i try to open up cydia it automatically shuts down and that is because we will need to re jailbreak our device and it's as simple as when we jailbroke it in the beginning so tap on that icon don't remove that uh, make sure you tap on send notifications to ok and then we'll just simply hit this circle again we'll lock our device like we did in the beginning and once that is completed it'll reboot the device so go ahead and unlock the device once it has resprung and we'll go over to Cydia again and then now you will notice that it works once again so it is that easy to get Cydia working once again you just have to re-jailbreak and it is that easy to even jailbreak iOS 9.3.3 so that is how you jailbreak the latest firmware on your iOS device it is so simple so in the comments below let me know if you jailbroke your device now if you did enjoy this video and you want to see future jailbreak videos hit the channel once again now that there's a new jailbreak available let me know by hitting that like button down below and if you're not yet follow me on social media like facebook twitter instagram snapchat all that good stuff all of my links are down below in the description and if you feel like being awesome go ahead and hit that subscribe button that way you'll be notified every time i come out with a new video or there's a new jailbreak available for the newest software but like i said let me know if you want to see future jailbreak videos hit the channel once again now that there's a new jailbreak available but anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys are happy that there's a new jailbreak available for those of you who jailbreak your device and um yeah appreciate your support very much uh leave a comment down below hit the like button share this video and um yeah other than that thanks a lot for watching i'll catch you all on the next one all right Peace.